Hello everyone and welcome back to Plum Figgy. This is Tammy. Today I have an unboxing video for you and then we'll do a little bit of a craft with me. Um, I was sent the October box from Your Creative Studio um, and they asked if I would do an unboxing and have a little bit of fun and play with um, the content and I said of course I would do that for you because I absolutely love their products. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm making sure that there's nothing about nothing, no personal information and there's not. Okay, so this is the October box. I don't know if it's still available. Um, I will link, uh, I will link their website down below if you're interested in them. Um, so, yep, this is your creative studio. If you've never heard of them before, they do a subscription box for, um, well, I'm a junk journaler, so I get a lot of use out of it, but, um, scrapbookers like it, um, planner people like them. There's a lot of, um, it's kind of, it's like stationery and stickers and stamps and things. So, um. I think a lot of different people can get a lot of benefit from them. So, the theme for this one is bake. <laughs> so, that's kind of fun. Um, all right. Let's see what we got in here. Thank you so much for your purchase. I hope you would enjoy this collection. And then that's the back side of the card. You'll always get believe is my love language. Believe. Baking. That makes more sense. It says baking. Baking is my love language. <laughs> Guys, I need glasses. I mean, I have glasses, but I think I need to go to the, get my eyes checked. <laughs> okay, so let's see what we got here. Try not to rip this in case I want to use the tissue paper in my craft with me or journal with me. Okay, let's start on the top here. So, these I'm sure are going to be little stickers. Um, I recognize this box because <laughs> I buy things from AliExpress and, um, you know, they come in, yep, uh, little boxes like this. So, cute. So, we've got little bakery goods. That looks really good. <laughs> I don't know. I don't recognize it. It's kind of like a s'more. Oh, there's like a little peep on the inside. That's really interesting. Whoops. Um, so, hot cross bun. Another kind of bun. Oh, my goodness. And I was just thinking, I need some dessert. I should not have <laughs> come down and done this right now. I should have done this another time because I just... I just finished dinner and I'm like, it's time for dessert. <laughs> so we got some croissants and um, some scones and yep, more hot cross buns. So those are really fun. Okay. Put those back. All right, now this one says time machine. Let's see what's in here. These are going to be like little paper ephemera um, pieces. Um, so they're really, oh, okay. So they're like kind of vintage kind of baking and just food themed. Really cool. So yeah, you just take them off like this and actually it feels like these are all stickers so that's even more fun um so these will be little stickers these are really good for using in planners also if you are a planner person oh i like that harper's bazaar really cool apologize for my heater um still working on getting that fixed okay so this says washi so um, I'm actually going to just rip that there. Let's see what this looks Oh, cute! It's a gingham pattern. I really like this, actually. I feel like I should 
make that food journal. Whoops. That was my fault. I went too fast. There we go. So that's that's what that pattern looks like. Like that. I'm just gonna set this over here and I'll use that later. Alright, what we got? A wood stamp, and it looks like it's gonna be a Mater D maybe serving some food. And it is. There we go. Very cool. And another wooden stamp, and this one looks like it's maybe a piece of cake. These are all very bad things for me to cheesecake even. <laughs> Cherry cheesecake, maybe. <laughs> and these are bad for me to look at right now. <laughs> um, I love the vintage um, look and feel of all this stuff though because that really helps with, especially if you're a junk journaler. I know most junk journalers um, tend to do their junk journaling in a vintage style. so really helpful for that. Okay, so empty box now. I'm going to keep that box for sure. Um, okay, so what we've got is, if I can pick them up, um, little washi stickers in thing shapes like a sundae. Looks like this was a can of pop. Um, some more like the uh, other flip book thing. Oh, here we've got some pears some biscuits, oh, a watermelon, so more than just baking, but um, Coca-Cola, I know somebody that loves Coca-Cola, <laughs> so um, Dr. Pepper, that's my favorite drink, or was my favorite drink, I don't drink pop anymore, but these are really cute, hamburger, yep, really fun, that looks really good. <laughs> So we've got a bunch of little washi stickers, and then these uh, are some paper kind of ephemera, and then some vellum ephemera. Um, it looks like maybe some of the same uh, pictures as what we just saw. That's really cute. That's backwards. There we go. I owe you a, rom a romantic meal for two. I love that. That's really cute. So really fun. Oh yes, we're definitely going to use her in our um, play today, I think. Okay, and I've got stuff upside down. But anyway, you, you kind of get the idea. Yeah, that's the guy from the cover of the box. And then some more Coca-Cola. So we've got some ephemera there. And then these are stickers. Oops, looks like this just got stuck. There we go of um, baking pins so those and those are um, gonna be kind of like washi stickers also and then this feels like tissue paper but it's protected in the plastic so I'll just leave it in there so that um, it doesn't get messed up for right now and then let's see is this more more okay well we got a rub-on transfers okay so it's like a sticker but it's a rub-on transfer um, in more of a vintage style. Gosh, we got a lot of stuff in the box this time. And she's really cute too. Same as the, um, the, uh, the business card, or the thank you card. So, let's see if I can get these to, my fingernails are struggling right now. Oh, it's all, okay, so there's that one, and then here's this piece, I think there's one more, really, really cute, I really like these images, so three sheets of rub-ons, um, this is a stamp set, and I'll keep those in there, but we've got some chef tools, and some chefs making their bakery um, items, and here we've got some more 
And maybe it feels like some stickers too. So we've got some washi stickers it feels like, and some stamps and tickets, some botanical, always love the botanical, it says sweet scented, and then these are, it feels like paper, so you could use these as like things to put into little tuck spots for some like journaling space can obviously use them as tags. Um, yeah, really cute little labels. That's what I was meaning to say. Labels. Some little mushrooms. I like this one. It's really cute. Um, sperm oil <laughs> for all kinds of sewing, knitting, and small machinery. Some other little kind of labely and journaling card things. So those are going to come in handy for sure. All right, and I think this might be the last thing. Yes. So what do we have in here? Paper ephemera. So it contains 24 sheets. You get six sticker papers, six vellum papers, six art papers, six pattern papers. And oh, for card makers also. Um, so here's a look at the designs in there. So that's what we got in the box. I'm going to go ahead and locate a journal <laughs> to use and um, we'll just have a little bit of fun and play around with this stuff. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I have this little journal that I bought from Dee's Crafty Place um, last year. And I have not um, used it yet, so I thought, well, what a perfect time to break this one in. I'm not going to start on the very first page, um, but let's just take a quick little gander through what we've kind of got um, as far as papers go in here for boys and girls. That's really cute. Um, I do really like this page. I think I remember there was one page back here. Yes, this little mouse. Let's maybe start with this page. <laughs> He's sitting in a teacup or something like it. And I think it's just kind of perfect for um, what we're working on here. So I'm going to, let's see, where's my, here they are. I can get my clips. I'm just going to clip this open up here, maybe, <laughs> so it'll stay open. There we go. Perfect. All right. Okay, so let's just do a little bit of collaging and a little bit of play with our fun little goodies. So first and foremost, I think we need, I think we need a background or a focal point, right? Um, <laughs> he looks, uh, the mouse looks a little perturbed. <laughs> Isn't that cute? We could put, <laughs> we could put this on there. I don't know. I feel like it's kind of perfect. Um, let me move this up just a little bit. Uh, but first I want to put something down as some background. Um, oh, and you know what? We had this little girl, too. She was awfully adorable. I like that, too, but maybe not for here. I think we'll go with this one instead for this little page. So, okay, let's see what we can find for background. Um, these may not work as well as I want because... I already have some images on them, but you know what we could do? We could use, let's use some of this. I like this color. Maybe some of that. And actually, I like this color too. So, we've got some nice colors to work with. 
I'm going to just rip this down like that. And start assembling. Yeah, I like the textures that are happening. Go like that. Make sure he stays front and center. You know what? I remember we had, yes, we had this. Sweet scented. And then I, I like the idea of using some of these. Actually, no. Maybe let's use some of these kind of around. And we could do... this here um yep okay so oh and I forgot I have well washi tape that I can use too so okay I'm going to it's difficult when you have kind of a smaller page oh I need glue oh um, let's use this one maybe this one will work for me um, when you have a smaller page to work with and you, your focal point is most of the size of that page, obviously it makes it difficult, but, um, also makes it fast, <laughs> makes it go fast. Um, this is just some, uh, I think no name, uh, kind of like, like, um, what is wrong with me today? Art glitter glue, but a no-name brand that I found on Amazon that I wanted to try. And then I just put it into this smaller bottle so that I could have the needle nose. Um, I'm not even going to tell you what brand it is because it works fine, um, but it's not my favorite. Um, so I don't want to boast about it if it's not my favorite. Um, honestly, spend a few extra dollars for the art glitter glue and you're going to be happy. So that's all I'll say about that. Um, I've never not been happy with the art glitter glue. Okay. Put these down. This has kind of a fun texture to it. Okay, and then I'm going to... I've got this little bits and pieces of of the uh, washi tape, so I'm gonna use them as part of my collage. Let's see, maybe go this way instead. I may not like how that looks in the end, but that's okay. We'll figure out what we want instead. Actually, I think I'm going to take off a little bit of height from here. help. Yep, that helped a lot. Okay. But I still want to cover that. Okay. Yep, that'll help. Okay. <laughs> I'm very much reassuring myself that it's okay. <laughs> I'm just going to go around the perimeter of this one because I'm afraid this glue with this thinner paper is going to make it pucker too much and I don't want it to take away from the the picture okay so put that down hopefully it's somewhat straight and then we've got 
Oh, I want to put some more of this washi tape down first. Down here in the bottom corner. Like that. Something like that. I love this washi. It's so cute. And the best part is I don't have anything quite like it. So that's an even better bonus. All right, and then let's put maybe this down, but not yet. Okay, it's sticking to my finger. <laughs> um, I, do we want, that might be cute there, but that's a lot happening right there. I also thought maybe this would be cute somewhere, but also a lot happening. Oh yeah, I totally forgot. I said, let's use some of these, um, these, and actually, maybe that would be, just do like a trio of these little pastries. I feel like we should use this. I don't know what the heck it is, but <laughs> doesn't it look interesting? Okay, I'm gonna move this for just a minute and don't really want the bread. We're kind of talking about sweet treats on this spread, so the waffles might be kind of good. Oh, this is nice. Got some. Actually, I think I like those waffles there. I'm going to get rid of some of the white edges, though. Had this one down first. I'm gonna use this to help me out. Mmm. Loving it. We've got a lot of oranges happening, which I didn't really intend for. So I'm thinking maybe I'll um use some of the colors in these rub-ons like I'm liking this color yeah there's a lot of those so um, those types of colors so let's just pull this one out to kind of brighten it up a little bit um, should we stick that there? Yes, maybe so. Yeah, I think that makes the most sense. These are a little handy dandy tool that they gave us. So basically you just push on this until it starts to kind of release. Um, and usually you kind of hear it. It's not working the best. I have a Tim Holtz tool that actually I prefer for doing this type of a thing. Um, if I could find it. In a pinch, I have a nail file. You could, you know, use the end of one of those, or at least try it. Okay, maybe I'm not doing something right. Let me look at the uh, instructions. 
Cut out the image, peel off the white backing, stick the sticker to the target place. If the image is not fully transferred, repeat the step number three. Okay, press it down and then use the rub on tool to rub the sticker up and down until the image fully transfers onto the target plates, peeling off the top. Yep, okay, so I'm doing it right. It's just being stubborn. Okay, well, it didn't it didn't go very smoothly, but that's okay. I can cover that up with something else. No big deal. And actually, it just looks a little bit more distressed. So, um, let's find another... Maybe this jam. This jam would work really well next to the pancake. I wish I knew what I did with my little tool. Ha! Found it. This is a Tim Holtz rub-on tool, um, or ideology. Oh. Ranger brand. Okay, let's this right there. There we go. That's what it's supposed to be like. I think that first one was just being difficult. Okay. Got some jam. Now, look. Maybe a little bit of height over here. Could even do these little flowers. Hmm. Yeah. Let's do the little flowers. Oh, little measuring cups. How cute. electricity is working against me here too. All right. So I think that's good for this first little spread. How cute is that? Got our little flowers coming out. I don't know what that says, but it says something cute. I'm sure <laughs> sweet scented and our little boy <laughs> enjoying his sweet treats. All right. So let's find another page and do some more. I think maybe I'll go back to the beginning where I found, well, I didn't intend to do another page with that on it, but actually, no, let's not do that. Um, cause I've got this little girl in my mind here. I just think she's awfully adorable. 
And I'm trying to decide how I want to use her. You know, I might just staple her down. <laughs> and then do something on the other side. Yeah, let's do that. Let me get my stapler. And I'm going to go ahead and well, maybe just over here. Nope, I think I need it. Like that. Okay, so what shall we do with the other side? Um, oh, you know, we've got... Although I don't know that that's really the look I was going to go for. I did pull this out as maybe um, something to put, but I feel like it's a bit thick and not sure I want to do that on that particular page. So let's go over in here. Oh, you know what else we have is this. And I did pull this <laughs> sticker out. It says half price sale. Kind of might actually work really well with her. Um, so let's make that maybe the focal point over here. Um, and let's see. I like the stamp. I like the ticket. I feel like we should find something that's, yeah, got some gingham in it, or, that's cute. Huh? <laughs> Do you see the kitty? How cute is that little kitty? <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. Um, okay, I think I've pulled out some really good things here, so... I don't really want to go overboard. These are so cute. Oh, no, maybe we want this instead. Mm-hmm. Or even that. I like that, too. Okay. I don't know why I'm feeling... Um, feeling kind of Valentine's Day-like. I should do something for Valentine's Day for Junk Journal. I said I was going to do Junk Journal January. I did two prompts and that was all I've done. And it's almost the end of January. So, hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I'm kind of failing hard on that. <laughs> oh, well. Okay. So, I've got some fun things to work with here. I'm actually maybe thinking... I'll use this instead of the pink, but we'll see how that goes. Um, I've got a bit of paper left. I don't think I want to use the orange, so I'll keep that for something else. But I do like this. I don't want to use the flowers. I just don't feel like it's the right, the right look. Don't want to use that. Okay. Kind of like that. Um, and then, because I was thinking I could put whatever sweet treat I decide. Yeah, I think I definitely like that better. Um, on top of that, okay, and this, what do I want to do? I 
I didn't think I really wanted to use this from because of the flower, but maybe maybe that's not such a bad idea. Okay, we're, get, we're getting there. All right, I'm going to glue this down. The glue dried in there. Something about me that I tend... I I do and I don't intend to do it but it just kind of happens is I gravitate towards the paper ephemera and stickers and things and I don't do as much with um, stamps <laughs> I just don't use stamps as much as I think I probably could or should um, so that's maybe something I should challenge myself on doing more of this year um, more mixed media type stuff and stamping and things, maybe. Okay. Here's that. Um. Let's go ahead and stick this down. I don't think I've ever had one come off that easily on me before. That's great. get this on here somehow somewhere but I don't want to forget about our little treat doesn't feel right to me with this. What doesn't feel right? Well, we're covering this up completely. That's one thing. Yes. All right. Now, let's get some of this washi in here. Well, I was thinking maybe down, 
down here. How did I have that? Something like that. Okay, I think that's what we'll do. Really, I think the, the, the focal point is on the girl, right? Oh, you know what? This is also a washi sticker. Okay. Good to know. Hopefully, hopefully it'll show up. It should. It's pretty bold. Over a little bit further and down. Like that. There you go. Oh, and I like that you can see the barcode kind of through there, too. That's neat. All right. And then I'm going to add a little bit more washi up there. Let's take that part off. And yeah, we'll just stick that like that. Cute. Oh, sorry. I was probably out of frame for some of that. But how cute did that turn out? I really like that. That's really cute. She's very adorable. <laughs> okay, let's do one more and then we'll call it good for this um, little craft with journal with me session. Um, let's see. Maybe this page here. Okay, so let's find another focal point. And work off of that. Um, yeah, I feel like this is just going to be a bit big for this little journal. Um, I could use some of this. Could get into here and use some of this. I like this little this girl here. So I'm gonna see what I can find with her on it. Well, that's a nice background too. Really like that. Okay, that's nice. I think we've got probably each design in vellum or paper. That's really cute. Oh, I like that. That's really cute. Okay, or you know what? We could do something like that. But not for today. This is adorable. Hmm. Let's get that aside too. Okay, so there's the vellum pieces, and then these are paper. And so you get some of, and then there's some cardstock or thicker paper. So thin paper, and then thicker paper. Well, I can't decide. Do I like the vellum or the paper better? Maybe a mixture of both. Okay. Um, let's see.
Okay, so I'm really liking this here. And I think I want that to be um, going across the page like this. But I want this to be a raw edge. So let's just glue that down. I'm going to use a glue stick for this one. I'm loving those pancakes. <laughs> I love that. Really, really cool. All right, so that should be good. Now I'm gonna do some collaging over here. So we've still got bits and pieces um, of these and this. We could. Just go ahead and start sticking stuff down. And I'll figure it out as I go. Okay. I don't really like this edge, so let's take that down. And gonna rip around all four edges here. There we go. Yep, I like that better now. Okay, and then before that drives. more glue. There we go. Okay. I don't think we need that on this page. So then I really liked this. Maybe over here. I'm going to just rip this out. like that. Well, that's a bummer. <laughs> I didn't think through that very well. Um, okay. Is it too late to take this up? <laughs> okay, maybe I'll just cover over that with something different. Um... wasn't a huge fan of what that said anyway. So. Let's cover that up. That's a shame, but I think in the long run I'll be happier with how it turns out. And then maybe down here we can add some more of our washi tape. No, I don't wanna do that there. 
Okay, let's try this again. Yep, yeah, that's better. I like that. Um, how shall I glue this? I think with our glitter glue. <laughs> Better safe than sorry. And I'll just go around the edge. is difficult to work with. <laughs> Has a mind of its own. Oh shoot, that's not quite where I wanted it, but that's okay. It'll be fine. Now, I do really like this girl, but I feel like she's a bit big for this little page. So I'm wondering. Yep, I just ripped that in half. <laughs> um, we're just going to rip this down. There's like a plastic. It's a nice card, so there's like this plastic on it. There we go. Uh oh. I ruined it. <laughs> oh well. I have another one of her um, from one of the packaging here. Actually, that's better. Because she's facing the other way. And I like that better. So, let's just go ahead and use this one instead. Okay, something's not working with this. So, back to the drawing board. Oh, I've got this Harper's Bazaar. That's very nice. Oh, you know what? Totally forgot. We have her as <laughs> we have her as a uh, rub on. So let's use her that way.
Okay. Put it right there. Okay. <laughs> Poor girl. She just got striped to death. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, so I tried really hard for her, but she's just not going to work. Um, so, let's see. Maybe this will just have to work instead. Um, figure out how to cover this up now. Okay, I'm just going to glue this down in the middle here, and then we'll just continue the <laughs> collage across the page. It'll work out, don't worry. Okay. do a little bit of surgery to this one. Get rid of this extra white lines. Oops. very nice very nice focal point there we've got that upside down I don't want to put that there um we could do something like that we could Got our masking terror. Don't think I want to do that. Okay, let's come back to over here and find something to cover that with. That's actually kind of cute. Those are a little scary looking. <laughs> Things that I wouldn't want on my plate, that's for sure. Um.
I'm just trying to disguise some of her feet. <laughs> um, so I think I'm going to do a bit more of this washi tape here. Whoops, and I just dropped the pears on the floor. Yeah, actually it's kind of weird, but I like it. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm going to kind of go like that. Okay. There we go. Now, uh, I did like what this says. It says, baking is my love language. And I kind of wish we had that in like a stamp or something. Bake the world a better place. That's cute. The washi sticker doesn't want to stick on top of the other washi sticker. They're not playing fair. They're not playing nice. Okay. Well, I could also do something like that. Like she's admiring <laughs> the cheesecake. No, I don't want to do that. This is also a really good page just for some extra journaling. So maybe I should just keep it as it is and stop playing with, oh, there's another girl there. Okay, so I think maybe, maybe I'll call this one done. Let's see, what do we got here? We've got two little, let's just go ahead and use these since they're cut out and ready to go. say it, but these poor little um, rub-ons are not doing the best. I don't think it's the way I'm doing it because they're coming off in like lines. I hope it's not the way I'm doing it.
Okay. So, do the all pencil and just make some shadows. There's no water in there. <laughs> when all else fails, you spit. Okay, well, it's a different one. <laughs> it's a little grungy now, but that's okay. I don't mind it. I think it's kind of interesting. Um, you know, I could probably put this in the middle to kind of hide some of that. But then it's like she's adoringly looking at mushrooms, which is also kind of strange. So don't think I want to do that. <laughs> um, I'm going to see if I can get this. problem with this is it's just too thick and it's too small and it's just not quite right. So I think I'm going to call that one done and not worry about it anymore. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys had fun um, coming along with me as I collaged and did some uh, pages with the Your Creative Studio box. Here's the second one that we did. Really, really cute. Got a half price bake sale. <laughs> and here's a reminder of the first one that we did. <laughs> also really cute. So, uh, yep, like I said uh, at the beginning of the video, if you're curious about your creative studio, if you're not sure what they are, I'll have a link in the description down below um, to their website. They do subscription boxes, um, and they have different um, subscriptions available, uh, or different, um, yeah, you can, different time frames is what I meant to say, uh, for a subscri subscription. So, um, and if you're not sure if you want to buy multiple months, I think they might even still have um, the monthly subscription, um, so you can try it out if you want to see how it goes, and um 
yeah, I've, I've always been pleased with what I've received. Um, so, and I feel like it's kind of a lot, um, of really great stuff for a really good price. Um, and yeah, so I highly urge you to check them out. So, all right guys, well, I will see you all in the next video. Bye.